Today, I'm going to create a copy of myself, a fake Pete, an AI version of Pete. That's right, I'm going to be going over to Scripps overdub feature in this video. So as I get started with this, if you're looking for a complete tutorial over all that Descript has to offer, editing, audio, editing, text, video, sequences, clips, everything, go check out this other video. I'll link to it right here. I have a full tutorial on Descript. We're not gonna cover that in this video. I'm gonna go over, over it up. So it's worth noting that I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never touched this. You're gonna see it. The first thing you do is go grab a Descript Pro plan. They don't have all the fancy features of Overdub on the free plans or whatnot, so you gotta pay extra for it, which I have because I'm fancy like that. I am in my dashboard here in my Descript app. I went over to Overdub and I'm gonna click Get Started. I am gonna name myself Pete McPherson and I'll be saving it to my drive right here. What it's gonna have me do is do a little bit of testing, right? For instruction recording script, visit detraining.descript.com. Com, and if I actually open that, it'll open up, it'll probably have me, it'll give me a script of what to say, right? It's actually going to record my voice so it can learn how to do overdub. Okay, so before I record using their scripts, I actually want to tell you one or two quick tips. You can see I actually swapped microphones just now. You want to record in your podcasting environment. Wherever you record your podcast, wherever you do your voiceovers and stuff like that, you want to use the same microphone, you want to use the same environment roughly so it will sound the same as your recorded podcast audio, right? Your fake AI generated voice should sound the same. That's tip number one. Make sure you're using an external mic, the mic you use for podcasting, preferably. Just try to keep everything the same. Now, speaking of the same, try to keep your voice the same. They tell you, and you can actually read this in Descript's files, to talk like you talk. Don't be any different. Read the script, but try to use your normal voice. Bring the same amount of energy you do to talking. Just talk normal. Basically, talk like you would as you do in your podcast. That's tip number two. Tip number three, they need a minimum of 10 minutes. They actually recommend up to 30 or 90 minutes of audio. But the good news is you don't actually have to do all of that at one time. What they tell you to do is come in here in the file. It says record here. You'll actually just hit this button and start recording here in a second. And then when you're done, you can hit submit training data up here and let's say you want to come back and add more later like right now i'm not going to do 90 minutes right now i'm going to do 10 minutes <laughs> actually i'll come back and do more later that's fine as long as you add it to the bottom of this composition so i'm going to hit record for 10 minutes here in a second and then tomorrow maybe i'll come back i will make sure my cursor is at the bottom and i will add more audio to this same composition right here last tip for me personally you can even tell like my voice is a little crazy right now because i just did another youtube video actually before this one water Keep some water around to keep your voice fresh. Do some vocal warm-ups, if you will. My wife is a professional singer, and she taught me how to do some vocal cord warm-ups at some point. So with my voice warmed up or whatnot, I'm actually going to go to the script, main script. And if I click it, it'll open right up here. I'm actually going to make this over here. And then come over here so I can just see this a little bit better. Look, you can actually see five, ten minutes. What does this do? Oh, it takes you to those points in the video. That's interesting. It'll show you, like, that has been roughly ten minutes, etc. I'm going to go back up here and start. I'll actually fast forward through this section or something. I don't want you to sit around and listen to it, but we'll see what it comes up with. All right, so here we go. I'm going to come over here. Make sure I'm getting the right microphone, by the way. Yep, that is it. It's going to transcribe as I'm recording. Here we go. I, the owner of the voice you're listening to right now. All right. And so I'm done. Just on a personal note. That was actually really hard. They said 10 minutes. That actually took me 12 and a half, 13 minutes. Uh, that was actually pretty tough. I was like kind of struggling to stay focused a little bit. Maybe that's just me. You can probably make it through easier. So now I'm actually going to go back to my script here. So it's actually still uploading right here. It's actually going to show me the progress. Oh, looks like it's almost done. 96% complete, 98. We'll just wait a second here. It's actually uploading the original as well. Okay. It is compressed off to my versions. It looks like that's good. It is nice and uploaded. This will change to saved. Yep. That's good. Submit training data. Submit. Training data submitted. So at this point, it's actually going to take a little while. It could take as much as a day or two, I believe. I'm actually going to stop the YouTube video and come back once I get this email and we'll see how it turned out. All right, so we're actually back. It was actually a couple of days later. It didn't take this long. It only took 
probably like eight hours ish. And I got the email from Descript that my overdub was ready. And in fact, I've already been playing around with it. So now I'm going to give you a little tutorial on two kind of different ways to use this. First thing you'll see right here, I actually opened up a brand new composition and I just started typing. I just started typing and this is what it came up with. It's actually pretty awesome. Howdy blog tribe. This is Machine Pete here. That's right. This audio snippet wasn't actually Pete talking. That's pretty scary for one thing. And you can literally just type in here in a new composition. Hello there. And when you go to select speaker, you will now see like a list of your overdubs. I should have named mine something different. That's kind of confusing, <laughs> but I could have named it like Pete Overdub and that would have been a little bit easier. We'll talk about styles here in a second, but this is one way to use it. Just literally just type stuff out. You could do an entire podcast episode with fake you or something. It sounds a little wonky. It's not perfect. I only did 10 minutes of source audio. Obviously, if I'd done more, it might have been a little bit more effective. Now, the more powerful way to use this, in my opinion, is actually just to spot check and correct different things you say. So this is my interview with Miles. I'm going to find somewhere in my area right here. Here's me talking. Hey, I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry, I was, I was trying to break in. So I'm going to replace I was trying to break in and be like, hey, I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Let's just pretend here. The first thing you want to do is actually go over here and select your overdub. I'm just going to do this. Click that. You can see it's selected now. I don't know why you have to do it necessarily like that, but you do. I'm actually going to select this to delete it, but you could click in here if you wanted to and try and make that. You could just like insert it right here. You don't have to select the text or whatnot. Uh, I'm going to do command K. You can also, there's a shortcut. I can't remember what it is. Command K over dub. It's actually a oh, command D on the Mac. All right. So I'm going to put, I was going to the bathroom and then I'm going to click the overdub button right here. You'll see it'll take like 30 seconds, a minute or something like that. And we'll come right back. All right. And actually it literally took like seven seconds. Oh, let's listen to it. I'm excited to see what this happens here. I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry. I was going to the bathroom. That's pretty convincing, right? I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry, I was going to the bathroom. And so it's even more powerful when you can stick it in what you're already saying. Just disguise. Like, it's clear. And instead of clear, what if I just wanted to do it's obvious. Command D. I'll select my overdub right here. Dup, dup, dup. Overdub. Ob obvious. Hit that right there. It's going to generate. It's going to take just a second or two. And instead of it's clear, now it's going to say it's obvious. All right, so let's try this. You giving value and stuff. It's obvious. By the way, the, the way I found you, that's pretty impressive. All right, so the last thing I really want to talk about is styles. What you can do is select your existing audio, you actually talking, not the overdub. Let's say I was really excited was right like, oh, here. Okay, I'm going to go check this dude out. And I went on there and I was like, oh, he's got a got a pretty big fall. Okay, so I'm not actually excited, but let's pretend I was right here. Let's, let's say I was sounding excited, or this is my serious voice, or like whatever it is. Different styles of your own voice, your real voice. You can select this. I believe you can do right-click overdub and then create new voice style. So I'm going to name this serious Pete overdub. It'll actually create a new voice style for you. And if I want to go back up here, I don't know if you can change what you've already created right here. Convert to audio. That's actually pretty cool, by the way. You can actually remove the fact that it's an overdub, convert it to audio, and then it just looks like everything else. It's obvious. Pretty neat. Uh, so let's go back up here and do they reached out. Instead of reached out, I'll do called me. So you would come over here and select excited Pete, serious overdub Pete, and then you could do command D, called me. Hit the overdub button. It'll take just a second to generate, and then we'll just check it out. So again, I wasn't actually sounding serious. I was just playing around with it. But if you can identify, you can even do this on purpose, really. You could record a paragraph or two sounding really serious and calm and smooth. Or you can do another paragraph sounding like really excited and then choose your voice styles that way. And you might be able to like make it match your actual tone way better on Twitter. They called me and they'd be like, oh man. Uh Okay, so that one actually didn't work all that great. I think there's a, a little weird space right here that I could come in and figure out. But to be honest with you, that is pretty much it. That's Descript Overdub. Go check out the other Descript videos in this series if you want to see more on how to use the entire platform. And that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Hashtag YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada. If you're a blogger or podcaster who wants to make money on the internet. And I love you guys. Happy overdubbing. Adios.